Hi everyone, God bless you. My name is Samuel E. Molombe. So people need to understand that when they hurt you, they come under judgment. When they hurt you, they come on. That's just what it is. The Lord is saying that this particular folk is under heavy judgment because they hurt you. This is a very powerful prophetic word. Um, if you if you listen to this to the end, you get a lot of things that God is saying, especially concerning um, some things that have been around your life just recently. I see someone come under heavy judgment because they did touch you. The Bible says that God reproved kings for your sake. He goes to war and reproves kings for your sake. He punishes people because they touch him. And when he punishes them, he says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Now, this is not what I think. It's scripture. It's scripture. It's in the Bible. You have lived your life following hard after God. And it, God, it's God's responsibility. It's God's. He has taken it upon himself to protect you. You are protected by God. You are protected by God. He surrounds you. The scripture says it this way. That as the mountains surround Jerusalem. So the Lord surrounds those who love him. It's real. Divine protection is real. Divine preservation is real. And that's exactly what God is doing in your life even in this season. God has gone above and beyond to show the hidden that you are a chosen one. You are selected by him for a unique assignment and they cannot mess with you. They cannot mess with you. Everyone that have tried it in time past came under judgment. Everyone that has tried it has come under judgment. And the Lord says this person has come under intense judgment just because they touched you. I remember a lady came to me for prayers. And I said to her, now I, I, I could pray for you for what you're saying. But if I go to God and pray on this matter you're talking about, there's going to be so many severe um punishment things that will happen to this particular person you will not believe he said why would you say that i said because god is intentional about you i perceive that god is intentional about you and i perceive that the integrity of god's intentionality has been set around you he's not going to mess with you he's not going to just let it slide like oh no <laughs> in this season god is not letting it slide now, this person was in a relationship with someone, we're trying to get married, but the mother of this um, person, the mother of the, the guy, did not like the lady who came to me for prayers and was doing all sorts of things against her. And I said, if I go to God in prayer, hmm, there's going to be judgment. And if you really do not want to see what's going to happen, maybe you should just let it go. The Lord is saying every tears you put, every tears you cry because of wickedness goes up as a memorial before the Lord. Every time you have been in pain, every time you have been distressed, every time you have felt the pain of that rejection, the pain of their negative words spoken against you, every time they have come up as a gang to lie against you, to sabotage your personality, God saw all of them and took records. They don't know that God is a record-keeping God. He keeps records. God keeps records. God keeps records. And he's about to come in this season and pay them for the evil they have done. The times when they have sabotaged you, the times when they have lied up against you, the times when they have tried to use demonic um, uh, um, platforms to bewitch you, they have used warlocks, called your names on, on altars to be able to cast sickness on you, cast spells on you, um, spells of disfavor, spells of physical sickness. Some of you just developed some kinds of ratchets around your body. And these are people coming up against you because they don't like you. The Lord says judgment is time for judgment. And they will begin to see the, the, the reward of their evil work. Yes, Bible says that God rewards all your works. Good works and evil works. And because you are a covenant child of God, because you are saved and filled with the Holy Spirit, because you have been made righteous by the blood of Jesus, you have become God's masterpiece.
the apple of God's eyes. He will not play with you. He will not take lightly anyone that rises up to bring you down. We've seen what the Lord did to those who rose up against prophets and anointed people in scripture. When you fight a, an anointed man, a man that is that has found his purpose and is living according to the tenets of his destiny, you are fighting the power of God in that man's life. God will arise and begin to fight on their behalf because if you touch any of these little ones, the Bible says, <laughs> it's bad. And what is about to happen to some people is what they never even imagined because God will arise and defend your cause. I want you to put it in the lives in the comment section rather just put it in the comment section now and says god will arise and defend my cause god will arise and defend my cause the lord is telling me that you are a project you are a his divine project now everyone who tampers with god's project is tampering with god's resources god has invested so much in you and he will not stand back and watch people destroy it can i say that again God has invested so much in you and he will not stand back and watch people destroy it. God has invested so much in you, he will not stand back and watch people destroy it. The Lord is rising up against those who have come up against you in this season. This prophetic word is your confirmation to say that the battle is no longer yours. The battle is the Lord's. It has turned over to God. Is that not what David did? Goliath came after the children of Israel, defiling the armies of the Israelites, speaking for several days, making noise, making mockery of them. Does that look like what you have heard? Stood up and says, I've been here. Egypt, uh, uh, Israel cannot give me one person to fight. You all are powerless. You all are... I will, you all be my slaves. You all be these. You are weak. And all the negative words, the blackmailing, the, the, the painting of black, the, the, the gang up. The, and they were laughing at them. But when it touched the heart of God, David came from nowhere. And the Bible says that David turned the battle over to God. He says, you come to me with spears and swords. I come to you in the name of the Lord. That second right there, he turned the battle over to God. God is saying that's what you have to do in this season. Turn the battles over to God. If you have watched so far, put in the comment section, I turn my battles over to God. So right, literally you are saying, Lord, over to you. Take up from where I've, I've ended. I've tried to fight these people. I've tried to defend my own self. But how long can I defend myself? For how long can I stand up against such an, uh, uh, a wicked um, um powerful army lord take over and when david said god take over guess what happened guess what happened david had no sword david had no spear david but he said i will cut off your head the man talking had no sword in his hands the lord will deliver you into my hands god is about to deliver your enemies to your hands god is about to punish them for what they have done wrong this is this is this is as real as it gets i cannot hide the word that the lord has put in my heart it's as real as it gets right and david of course picks the up the sling you know the story and fired it at goliath hit his forehead and he fell down when he fell down guess what happened David ran to him, took his own sword. My God. The sword of Goliath is what David used to cut off his head. He, he didn't have a sword. Remember, it is the gallow that Mordecai had prepared that he was hung in. Those who have dug pits for you, they will fall in those pits themselves. Those who have set up traps for you, the traps will catch they, they themselves. Those who have planned evil against you, the Lord says that they will eat of it. If they think it's a good thing, they should try it. Right? If sickness is a good thing, everyone that has casted a spell of sickness on you, the Lord will put that sickness on them so that they can taste it. 
this is your season when you sit back and watch those who have risen against you be judged by the power of god this is your season to know that god is with you and there's absolutely nothing the enemy can do i pray the lord bless you and keep you cause his face to shine on you and be gracious to you i pray the lord give you peace in jesus name do you receive the word with gladness i love you and shalom